thing I think a lot of folks don't understand about a newspaper is the fact that we're in a 24-hour news cycle, so we're constantly trying to um, uh, come up with a, a good story and, and give as much time and energy into a story that they see in the net, they see immediately online and the next day in the newspaper. For more than 195 years, the repository in Canton has been producing a newspaper, keeping Stark County area residents informed about what is happening and how it affects them. Every day at the repository is a news day. A team of men and women, from reporters and editors to page designers and salespeople to pressmen, produce what some in the newspaper business call the daily miracle. In today's digital world, there are new ways to deliver news and information, but the printed page remains a major resource for many in the Stark County area. Who are the people behind the paper? How does this paper get published 365 days a year? Let's take a look behind the scenes to see who some of these people are at the repository. There are times when we feel like we're on a treadmill, you know, because we don't have the option of not putting one out tomorrow because we're tired or we had staff call in sick or uh, it's a quiet day out there. We don't have that option. Um, so we, we sort of live under the compulsion of having to create stuff, literally. You know, we come to work today and we've got to get stuff going uh, every single day. It also helps to, to uh, look ahead one day, two days, three days a week. Um, the more we look ahead and plan, the better off we are so that when we come to work in the morning, we don't start with a blank slate every single day. The single most important part of my job is goal setting and then communicating those goals to a staff of about 60 journalists. Um, uh, making a newspaper is a team sport, a collaborative, creative effort. Um, and we do it best when everybody brings their creativity in their unique ways to the enterprise, but uh, we get the best result when we're all marching, marching to the same goal. So it's my job as executive editor to set those goals. Uh, my most important job function is to, uh, first of all, um, determine what story or stories we pursue uh, for that day or for the future days, get some pieces launched. And then uh, secondly, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, my job involves determining uh, the one or two uh, top stories of the day that we um, put on our page one of our newspaper and uh, give prominent play display to on our website. Um, we are telling the readers by um, making that value judgment that those two stories are the most important stories of the day and they impact their lives and, and they should read those two stories or that story uh, before they um, uh, go into the rest of the paper. I work with our executive editor, uh, Jeff Gogger, quite a bit. Um, and uh, I also work with our um, uh, assistant managing editors, uh, Veronica Van Dress and um, Scott Brown. Uh, Veronica handles the news end of it and uh, Scott Brown handles the uh, publication end of it, the uh, output end of it, the newspaper design and so forth. And I also work closely with uh, some of the other editors, including our sports editor, Joe Frollo, our city editor, Dave Serino, uh, lifestyles editor, Gary Brown, and uh, photo chief, Stan Myers. I rely on the talents of uh, the folks uh, that work in specific departments to execute some of the some of the direction that I give them. Now, my function is basically to keep the keep the ship going in the right direction, and if I determine it's off course, uh, try to veer it in that direction, and 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 also uh, uh, be responsive to the public. If the public calls with a question or a complaint or a concern, um, I want to address that and 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 try to. Uh, make that customer a happy customer, whether it's an online customer or uh, someone who uh, uh, buys a printed version of our newspaper. I'm the assistant managing editor who's responsible for all the locally generated content that goes into the paper. So the probably the most important part of my job is um, to make sure we have strong front pages each day. So our, our A1 centerpiece and any of the stories that appear, that appear on A1 
and also a lot of the planning that's done in advance for uh, the newspaper um, and for CantonRep.com. I work with the other editors of the section editors and their reporters, um, so a staff of reporters and editors, to plan and uh, report and write and edit and generate local content for the website and for the daily print product. One of the things that I do as an editor is I act as an advocate for the reader. Uh, so I ask the questions that I think our readers are going to be interested in, in knowing about. Um, and uh, then uh, sometimes a lot of stories come across my desk as an editor. People email me or I get phone calls. Um, and so uh, when I get um, stories that come across my desk, we discuss those stories and um, uh, determine you know, what might make good stories. And then some of those stories I might assign to a, to a reporter uh, to investigate and write about. I think just informing people about uh, the world that they live in, what's going on in the world. Um, I think for a lot of people, we're the window to their world. So, uh, and I get to uh, tell people about other people, stories they may not necessarily hear or, or get to read if it weren't for uh, the newspaper. I'd like to think that I, I play a pretty in, uh, integral part in it. I uh, cover a lot of different areas in the paper. I, uh, I write columns. I also cover religion. I do general assignment, and I also uh, help out with the editorial uh, section. So I have a lot of knives in the air. I'm pretty much a, a free agent. I, I, uh, I kind of fly my own plane, um, which is kind of nice. Um, I guess they trust me enough to, to think I can get the job done. So. <laughs> Um, but uh, you know, there's also there's constant interaction in the newsroom. Um, I'm also I'm always constantly talking to other reporters about what they're doing and and having them look at what I'm doing and so uh, and, and talking to editors, of course. So um, there's always always interaction. Editors and reporters work to put the news stories in the paper, while other key staff members work editing copy and laying out or designing what the page will look like in the newspaper. Another part of the newspaper process is adding graphics or illustrations to go along with the written story. It complements the reporting in the newspaper. I'm Michael Wise. I am the associate editor for graphics here at the repository. I do, it's our responsibility to produce elements for design uh, for the news, newsroom. That includes sports, that includes uh, lifestyle pages. Um, and by elements, I mean graphics. We do maps, we do charts, we do uh, infographics, and my favorite is uh, illustrations. I have a fellow coworker, Bob Cast, who is right now working on a large-scale infographic on the Dover Dam. Uh, they're going to be doing some uh, re, um, remodeling to it and upgrades to it, so he's doing a large-scale infographic where he's taking it and literally slicing it in half so that you can do you can see the inside working of the dam, plus you're going to see how they're going to make the improvements to it. So it's pretty interesting and pretty involved. After the paper is put together, the final version is sent to the printing press, where massive machinery cranks out thousands of newspapers. Then the newspapers are bundled and delivered to neighborhood paper boys, who make sure the paper gets to a customer's front door. Papers are also needed to get to other locations in the area. I'm the single copy manager uh, in the circulation department, which means I'm in charge of sales out of uh, stores and uh, vending boxes uh, that you see on the streets. I am in charge of uh, uh, increasing as much as possible the sales out of those uh, venues and also the, the collection of money from, uh, from our retail partners and uh, the, the making sure that the papers get to the locations uh, when the customers want them. There's more to the newspaper than just printing and selling newspapers. The repository is a corporation that wants to be involved in its community. And my role is primarily for um, community events, branding and community relations for the paper. We're a pretty large employer here in Stark County, so there's a lot of things that go on beyond the walls here at the repository. Um, so I make sure that, you know, the repository and our other papers have a voice in those um, community events or projects. And then we also actually put on events that tie back to our product. I work daily with the advertising sales representatives, and we've got about 20 of those people. They handle different geographic areas or maybe specific categories of business. 
I work with the general manager and senior vice president of sales and marketing. He really is the person that oversees all the sales for all of our newspapers, our magazine, our websites. I'll work with the individual managers, people that are in charge of our magazine, people that are just in charge of sales for our website, uh, people that are just in charge of sales for the direct mail piece. Um, I also work with the publisher. Uh, my job many times is to make sure that the repository and our other papers are involved in the community, have a voice in the community. So I work very closely with the publisher to make sure we're at all the right places and that we're doing all the right things. While the repository produces a newspaper with many news stories each day, the paper cannot survive on subscription money alone. Advertising plays a big role in making sure the news operation continues. Advertising pays the bills around here. Those ads wouldn't be worth much if we didn't have an audience, but those ads pay my salary, they pay the whole newsroom, uh, uh, the salaries of everybody in the newsroom. Um, advertising is critical. We wouldn't have a business. This, this, we perform a public service, um, but we are not a not-for-profit outfit. We like to say we in editorial spend the money and advertising makes the money. So uh, advertising sells the ads uh, both online and in print that uh, determines how much um, space we have available in the paper each day. So the, the, number of, the number of advertising inches correlates to the number of pages that we have available to publish stories inside the newspaper. Um, they, they support the day-to-day uh, -day operations of the newspaper that way. W without advertising, um, uh, we'd be in a world of hurt. There's classified advertising, and that's usually private consumers. Maybe they're selling like a couch, maybe they're putting on a garage sale, maybe it's a legal listing um, that they want to put in. So there's another type of advertising revenue. In the last five to six years, we've really diversified how businesses can advertise. We want to give people a whole menu of options. So we'll do things like um, post-it notes on the front of the page. And we will put a message or a coupon or something right on the front, and people would peel it off. They can either stick it on their fridge and save it for later, peel it off and use it as a coupon. That's a very popular way to advertise. We have what are called freestanding inserts, which are inserts in the paper. Um, the one thing that's unique about newspapers is on television you many times will flip away from an ad. It's an interruption, so to speak. Newspaper readers actually seek out advertising. That's why we see a lot of people who subscribe to the paper, especially on Sundays, because they want all those coupons that are stuffed in there, all those inserts, all those special deals. So they're actually going to this medium looking for advertising, seeking it out. Working in the news business, Turning blank pages into a newspaper 365 days of the year is interesting, but can be challenging. Pressure mounts every day to get the product out on time, but the people involved in this enterprise enjoy being part of making a newspaper. I have a healthy respect for uh, journalism and I enjoy interaction with the readers. When, even when people call to complain or yell at me for something, <laughs> something that uh, they don't like that was in the paper. Um, for me, uh, I, I like hearing from people because it helps keep me on my toes and um, you know, helps me keep an open mind about what's going on. And so I, I really like interacting with, with the people that I work with and with the people who read the repository. Every day is different. Every day is different. Sometimes from hour to hour, you never know what you're going to walk into when you walk into this in the into this room. Uh, some days you think, well, I'm going to be, uh, you know, you have your day planned, and something goes haywire, and next thing you know, you're in a place you never thought you'd be when you walk, woke up that morning. So that's that's the coolest thing about this job. The fact that the the product has a short shelf life, uh, it makes for uh, helter skelter sometimes uh, uh, getting things done because. Uh, Today's product's only good for today. <laughs> a lot of it's fun. It's fun because you rarely get to do the same story twice. Um, I've covered everything. I've done illustrations for presidents, uh, President Obama, President, uh, former President Kennedy. I've done Mother Teresa, and I've done everything from football players to rape issues to political issues. So it's, it's a great variety. The, the biggest thing I like about my job is the fact that I come to work every day and I really don't know what's going to happen 
how my day's going to uh, uh, play out. And there's no better feeling in the world than to open up the paper the next day and look through it and say, you know what, we did a darn good job on that day's newspaper.